Uh, oh, oh God. I did not want to have to do this. No, really, I didn't want to do this. But, for the sake of all that is good and holy, it must be done. This is Toho Hikari, Periphery of Power. Resurrection of Heaven's Liquor set the new lowest standard for any game to possibly reach. Somehow, Hikari goes below it. I don't know how they did it, but they did. So anyway, this is stage one. Killed some guy there. Guess what? That was my mid-boss. I wish I was joking. But my mid-boss and boss come at the same time. There is no stage. There is no... There are no random fairies. We have this guy who looks like an umbrella, but in his cut-in looks suspiciously like Yuyuko. Hmm. I think it's safer if I don't ask. Lights! Because everyone knows random lasers make a card fun. Non-directional lasers. We're just blatantly stealing the name now. It's not like non-directional lasers were used by anyone else. Except maybe two other people? Sup, Marissa? I'm stealing your own card and using it against you. It's karma. You stole it from Pachali, I'm stealing it and using it against you. Deal with it. Alright. Miscount. Zero. Woot. When a game tells me woot, I init I, I panic. So yes, onto the second stage, inverted commas. I don't want to Vindicano Suyo in Glorion. Yeah, if you hadn't guessed yet, this game is basically nothing but an endless series of self-inserts. And for most of them, they don't even bother getting new... new cut, giving themselves cut-ins. I mean, let's see what she'd like an umbrella that apparently looks like Yuyuko. I don't get it. So yeah, this is gonna be an annoying card. Because it's, hey, I'm gonna run the fuck away from you. Uh, get over here so I can hit you some more. There we go. This guy gets his own cut in, but it's terrible. And he seems to be... This first guy was disco-based. This guy steals attacks from Tails games. So that was Eruption. Oh, yeah, let's stay back here. Okay, a single knife. Is that really all you can bother with? Okay, next for Shockwave, we have things coming from the sides. And I have to sit here and just kind of hope that he walks in front of me. This sucks. There we go. Indignation. Oh dear. Let's dot. Oh my. That's a bit of a large laser. Come on. For stage two? Isn't this over? How the fuck do I get around? There we go. And you want me to maneuver through this shit? Are you kidding me? Screw it. When in doubt, spark it. Master Spark is the solution to all of my problems. Yes, this game is stupid. Okay, stage three, and we are fighting... Racing, a.k.a. Tanuki? Maybe it's better if I don't ask. Firstly, Tanuki's a raccoon, so yeah. Let's just let's just leave it at that. Just pretend you didn't. 
Okay, if that's how it's gonna be. Fine. First, the icicle fall. Just practically stolen word for word. I can't see your attack. Okay, what's going on? Three. Oh my. <laughs> Are you kidding me? It's the Sun A B glitch from UFO. The bombs actually ca bomb damage carries over into the next card. The hell? Yeah. What? Okay, I'm getting more and more unimpressed. What's this guy meant to be? Ice or something? Because a lot of his cards feel very churro stolen. Oh man, I've forgotten what this is stealing from, but I know it's stealing from something. Don't think it's even Toho, but it's something else. It'll come back to me, probably five minutes later when it's no longer relevant. Huh? I get borders? How did I get borders? How did this game work? Yeah, this is just that other one, but harder. Screw it, I'm cheating. I don't want to have to play this game any more than I already do. Okay, so what can we discuss from the first three stages? Danmaku, which takes one or two gimmicks and uses them over and over again, check. Crappy self-inserts, which are just basically player characters with different names, check. When they do actually try and make something new, it looks utter shit. Check. That's just a badly edited Remu sprite. And hell, our cutting is still Remu, so yeah. The boy's forgetting who most of her attacks are influenced by subsequently. The one thing that annoys me most about this game is the fact that the Danmaku itself just feels so generic. And everything comes with a little whiff of, guess what, I've been stolen. It's like buying a goddamn... It's like buying a goddamn movie second hand, you realize it's some illegal copy with you can't see shit because of the Chinese subtitles. That's the level of disappointment. It's, it's you pick up a movie, you think it's Spider Man, but it's the crappy Chinese equivalent Spider Man. That's what this is. This is Toho's crappy. It's not even Chinese. It's worse than Chinese version. It's English. This is why English people should not be allowed to touch fan games ever. Because we are blessed with sock. Now, I've done my research on this game. The designers themselves explicitly said it wasn't really meant to be that serious a game. It was meant to be just a little lol self-insert thing. It only meant to be three people. Then suddenly they realized they had six and they made, decided, hey, let's make a full game out of this. They weren't intending to create something that was valid. They just wanted to have a little fun. Which is all well and good for them. But I have to endure this. 